Oh, good morning. Oh, what day is it? Tuesday. <laughs> oh, we love a Tuesday. I've got some more clothes to go in that. Can you see it? Can you see that? I've got some more clothes to go in that clothes bank. So I'm just going to put them in now and then uh, we carry on with life. But um, yeah, it's always good to put them in a clothes bank. Well, they might go to gays and, and, you know, stuff you don't want to go into, but it's better than putting them in the bin, isn't it? And no one else bloody wants them. I try to give them away. I try to give them to people, but they don't want them. So what do you do? You put them in the bin, it's, it is a waste. It's going to go to a wasteful place, the landfill. You know, the next best thing is to give it to a clothes bank and hope, fingers crossed, it goes to something worthwhile. So, and not just making stupid profit or nothing like that. So anyway, yeah, I've got another big bag of it. So let's get that put in there and then we'll carry on with life. Oh, look at that, outside that shop. They just dropped off some fresh rolls and buns and other lovely goodies. <laughs> God, look at that. Bloody hell. Not open yet either. Come on, I'm hungry. <laughs> Well, it's a, a bit a bit drizzly in the land of me today. Never mind. We don't mind a little bit of rain. Depends how much we had yesterday. Because I weren't here yesterday. I had a day off. I've uh, been on holiday, you see. So I had a Monday off. And, um, yeah, it depends. If there's been a lot of rain, the person who was covering for me could have been in a bit of a pickle and it could make things a bit awkward but we'll be all right i'm sure we'll uh, we'll carry on with life and live life on the edge oh look they're getting the buns in lovely jubbly ha <laughs> ha let's go and get a belgian bun or some other kind of iced treat i don't all that often have um like an ice, what they call them, like a Belgian bun, an ice bun, any kind of sugary treat. Um, I don't have them that often. I, I had one the other day because what happened was I went in the shop and my wife likes it. It's sort of like a, a Belgian bun or some other thing of icing. And uh, I thought, well, I'll get her one. But there's a pack of two. There's two in a packet. So I was like, well, <laughs> you know what I mean? One each, isn't it? Hey, it's obvious. So I had one then. Oh, mate, love it. I could eat them all day long. Trouble is, you've got to be careful, man. You've got to look after the old teeth. You don't want to have too much sugar, too much icing. Otherwise, they'll fall out. So, um, yeah, but I might get another one. Quite looking forward to another one. Yeah, why not? It's been about a week since then, so let's have another one, shall we? Love it. I might have the shop to open. Get some lunch. I ain't got no food. We'll get some lunch. And then we'll be away with life. Love it, man. Come on, let's go. Bloody hell, you lot. I went in the shop, right? And uh, what's your opinion on this? I'll turn that light on so you can see me, right? See what you see if your opinion on this, your view on this, is the same as mine, right? So I went in the shop, and the woman said, uh, "I was like, you're right." She says, uh, "Not really." I said, "What's the matter?" She said, "Well, someone ain't turned in for work." I said, "So? That ain't your problem." She's not in charge or nothing. I don't, I don't think she is. She's just a worker. I think. Anyway, it doesn't matter if she's or she ain't. I said, so? Like, that ain't your problem. They're the one losing out on their money. Like, you're here, you're earning your money. Uh, but, like, everyone seemed to be... Everyone seemed to, I know, like, they the workload. Like, you know, so the, 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 her and the other people well, now, the other two people or three people, have got to uh, make up for that missing person's workload. Yeah, yeah, all right, I get that. Of course I get that. But what I mean is, nothing to be sort of down about, is it? I mean, my view is, if someone don't turn up for work, that is entirely their problem, because they're the one losing out on their money, and not only that, their reputation. Depending on the reason for not turning up, if they if something's happened, then, then fair enough, you find out later on, wouldn't you? And then that's fair enough. You let it slide, didn't you? Um, but if they're just lazy and just ain't turned up, that is entirely their problem. Their reputation is being tarnished because they're going to be labelled as not trustworthy, not uh, a good, reliable person. But also, they're the one losing out on their day's money, man. So, you know, I don't know. My view, that's my view anyway. Someone don't turn in, 
their problem, man. They're losing out, not me, because I'm here and I'm earning my dollar. That's the reason why we go to work, eh? To earn dollar. We don't go to work. Well, some of us go to work for fun as well. I mean, I go to work for fun because I enjoy it. I do a job I enjoy. That's another topic, right? Let's see what your opinion is on this. I don't think I've ever talked about it before, actually. Can I turn this off now? Yeah, I can turn it off. That's good enough. So, my opinion, right? A lot of people, they're always like, Oh, I hate work. Oh, can't, don't want to go to work. Oh, I've got to go to work. Oh. Right? Well, go and find a job that you like. I've always said, and hopefully I'll never end up in a situation where it's the other way around. But I've always said, you spend most of your life working. Most people do. All right, there's some odd exceptions. If I've talked about this before, then... Uh, I don't know, put it in the comments, I'm going to piss off or something, but I don't think I have. Anyway, and even if I have, it's good for new subscribers. So, <clears throat> you spend most of your life working, I've got so stuff in my eyes, man. You spend most of your life working, don't you, right? Well, most of us do. We go to work Monday to Friday, some of us, like me, Monday to Saturday, sometimes even Monday to Sunday for a little short period of time. But most of the time, it's most people is Monday to Friday. Yeah, normally. So you spend, and then you get two days to spend at home doing what you want. So you spend more of your time at work than you do not, right? So you might as well find yourself a job that you enjoy doing. That way, you enjoy your job, you're having a good time, you're enjoying life as well as earning a dollar to live life, yeah? That's my view. A lot of people are like, oh, I hate my job, I hate my job, I hate my job, I hate my job, I gotta go to work, I hate my job, I hate my job, I gotta go to work. And I'm just like, bloody hell, like. Unless you've got a job that pays ridiculously well and that outweighs the job that you hate. But then again, surely you'd be going to work, I don't know, but surely you'd be going to work thinking about that money, you know? So it wouldn't matter anyway, but I, I'm not in that situation, so I don't know how that would work. If you hate your job that much, don't bloody do it. Go and find a job that you do enjoy. Because life's too short. That's why I don't understand about some people. I'm always moaning about, oh, I hate my job, I hate work, I've got to go to work. And when always says to me, I've got to go to work. And like on a Sunday, you've got to, if it's like, that it always goes to me, oh, the weekend goes quick, didn't it? Back to work again tomorrow. What a shit life. And I'm like, well, speak for yourself. I quite enjoy going to work. Because as I said, as I explained a minute ago, I do a job that I enjoy. Because I don't want to be miserable all the time. I want to be happy. That's what you want to be. You only get one life. So you might as well be happy in that life. Yeah? It's a fact of life for normal people. Granted again, that some people are lucky enough they don't have to go to work. Yeah, which is fair enough. Yeah, but for normal people, we have to go to work. So we, ha it's a no-brainer that you do something that you enjoy, so that you're happy in life. You're not dreading that Monday morning going back to work for a whole week. You know, because if you dread it, you're not having a happy life, are you? Even if you are earning a lot of dollar, you know what I mean? A lot of dough. That's my view on the situation. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It'd be, it would be interesting to hear other people's views on it, so put it in the comments, you know. Also put what your job is, yeah? What do you do as a job? Do you enjoy it, you know? Does the money, if you don't enjoy it, does the money outweigh it? Um, there is some people in the world that I have experienced that do a job that pays very little. I mean, there's volunteers out there, for God's sake. I don't know how they manage to live volunteers, but there's people out there that do jobs that pay very little, like working in shops and things like that. They pay very little money, but they enjoy it, so they just do it. They carry on doing it because they're happy. They might earn small amounts of money, and they're just scraping by with life financially but they enjoy their job they enjoy their life which is good that's good for them it's not all about the money but yeah that that i just you know and and for the people that are going to say yeah well some people can't get a job they enjoy they have to get stick with what they can get that is true which is fair enough in in that situation i think you should do what i well to be fair i've enjoyed every single job that i've had in my life from when i was 17 up to now i have 
I've worked in warehouses, Argos warehouses, um, delivery warehouses. I've been fabrication welder. I've been um, like a um, what was I? oh yeah, I was a, um, a a dustman run along behind the dust cart, flinging the dustbin bags in the back of the bin lorry. I, I've been one of the wheelie bins. I've walked around the streets with litter pickers picking up people's rubbish. Yeah, around the parks and that. I've been one of those council uh, rubbish collection people. Just have your bin bags, put your music in your ears, walk around with a stick picking up rubbish, putting it in the big bins, and then some a lorry, uh, a, um, a transit van comes past and picks them up later on. <laughs> I've been a greenkeeper on a golf course, you know, cutting grass. To be honest, I have enjoyed every single job, and it's all been a good experience. Um, but for the people that can't get the job that they want to get now for whatever the reason may be whether it's not the they haven't got the right qualifications on paper or whatever the reason is yeah go and find yourself a job that, that pays your money so you can pay your bills and live your life but work towards getting that dream job yeah don't give up on it don't just be like oh i'm not good enough uh, I'm not going to be able to ever get the job I want so I've just got to stick in this crap job that I hate just to scrape past in life that's not the attitude man that ain't the attitude man and not at all um, now, sometimes it is who you know and not what you know I know that well that's there's loads of people I've got jobs for um, that wouldn't have otherwise got in this industry and they're in this industry that I'm in now because of me and they're doing really well in this industry because of me I bring them into it. Yeah, there's some people that didn't have any jobs, and I got them a job at the bottom of this industry. Yeah, they're they're right at the bottom of the pecking order because I got them in, pulled them in, got them a job, and now one of them is well, two of them, or well, one of them uh, is management now. The other one I didn't get in, but um, a, a friend of mine got in. He was at the bottom of the pecking order. He's now management. He's higher management than the other one. Um, do you know what I mean? And they love their jobs. So, I do think that if you can't get the job that you actually want now, don't be disappointed in it. Just carry on, be happy, that's the main thing, and look towards what you want to do. Man, that's, that is, this video is turning into a bloody, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm giving, a, I'm giving you not bloody inspiration, aren't I? Rather than bloody, well, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go and start me bloody machine up. Back in a minute. Uh, I don't mind. I, I'm look. If I can help any of you lot out and give you inspiration, that's what I'm gonna do. But it won't, you know. But there, some people, man. Don't know. There, sometimes there's some people that you just can't help. Going back to going back to where the pe the person was upset was down because the other person didn't turn in for work maybe she was upset because she's trying to help this other person and he's just always not turning up and she feels a bit defeated a bit like um i keep trying to help this person but they just they never turn up on time and then they're going to get the sack and i'm trying to help them but they just you know you help people out i've done it before you help people you help people you help people and then there comes a time when you just have to say, look, I've helped you enough. And you ain't getting the message. You ain't, you know, you still ain't picking, you know, picking your bollocks up off the floor and actually trying and, and doing good. So I'm afraid you're gonna have to go on your own now sort of thing. You ain't got to say that to them. Well, you might do, I mean, I do. <laughs> you know, if I'm trying to help someone and it's coming to a point where my performance in work, yeah, is suffering because I'm always helping that other person and my job is actually suffering I'll be like look you dickhead I've helped you enough but you ain't getting the message mate you know what I mean um, so I'm gonna have to leave you alone for a bit and let you fend for yourself man because you just ain't you ain't getting the message you know I've said that to people before and they're like oh all oh, right oh, oh, then but what happens then is when they realize you're not there behind them to push them along they then start to sort of like, well, a couple of times they, they just fell, fell on their back and then that was it, they got the sack. They, but more often than not, most people in that situation, as soon as I'm like, look, I've helped you enough, I've got to go back now. I've got, I've got to concentrate on my own job because my, my work's suffering. 
they're like, oh, 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 what do I do? And I'm like, look, I've helped you enough. You go and, you know, you'll work it out. And most of them, they've worked it out, you know. And they they, they start to, when they realise you're not there behind them to catch them if they fall, they will put more effort in. They'll put more effort in than they were when you were there to help them. And then that's when they start to go. So sometimes that's what you've got to do. If you've got someone that's in you're in, in your job that you're, you're always helping, you always feel like you're, you're doing their work for them, you're always helping them along. They're probably like that because they know that you're there to, to catch the slack as such. And um, yeah, man, you've got to take a step back and they'll either fall, and in which case, that's their problem or they won't fall and they'll you know pick it up carry on and be a good worker crazy old life eh? anyway that's enough rambling for this morning it's a Tuesday morning it's raining a little bit I've started up my old beast over there um, I've had a little look around it looks like a person who covered me for a day it's all gone well didn't have no hiccups no problems so that's good I'm going to go and have a lovely day I'm going to catch you a lot later on and we're going to have a brilliant week. I can feel it in my bones.